I will extend it after the class. No problem. Hmm. But at least complete two assignments by the time you take comprehensive test. Okay. So Sunil first part and then okay. Uh, they were unsure. Okay, because you submitted. Uh, tell me, did you discuss anything with your classmates? Sir, I watched the movie and uh, in my group, there is Kareem. Mm -hmm. uh, so he had also watched movie before me. Mm -hmm. So then after watching movie, I, I had uh, given all my observations to him. Mm -hmm. So he said that uh, he added something more from his side. Mm -hmm. But then uh, it was all chat. I mean, we couldn't, mm -hmm. we did not discuss, uh, like mm -hmm. we could not talk mm -hmm. because sometimes mm -hmm. he was busy, sometimes I was busy. And then, uh, I mean, that online collaboration is difficult uh, mm. for uh, discussing and then coming at a final draft. Mm. Okay. That's what, I mean, I felt that I should start uh, online collaboration maybe very early, take at least 10 minutes during the class time. Okay. Maybe I'll start like that soon. Okay. But anyway, it is good that at least you talk to him and then you, you at least shared your views. That's good. Okay. But I think he didn't come. He has not yet come. Uh, Sunil, tell me, what did you do? Devansh, I'll get back to you. Hmm. Hmm. Sunil, tell me, what did you do? Sir, uh, with three of us, Raju, Rajesh, and myself. Hmm. Good. So we uh, met on Google Meet in the morning. Hmm. Wow. So we had already watched the movie and we took an, we took the event hmm. like death of Gandhi and then we uh, pondered upon what's the learning from that event. Wow. Wow. So event by event we went and discussed each event and then everyone had their own unique opinions and then kind of, though we could not submit it in the written form but we wrote hmm. it on the paper and Wow. We understood the idea. I mean, I, we, we find it really difficult to put it on the Padlet and, you know, because going event-wise, it's it was difficult to put it on the Padlet. Very good. I am pleased. This is what I wanted. You know, this exam is easy if you do it uh, collaboratively. Okay, there are many things can be done as a part of a group. People want to sit at home and close all the doors and windows and study, study, study. It's more difficult that way. Just learn, understand, and write down points and memorize. That's all. It's very easy. Anyway, one thing I have learned from this course is we should start group interactions very early before people become distant to one another. <laughs> That's what I understood. Start very early so that they get used. So let the uh, initiative, uh, let the beginning take place in the class and after that they will continue. Hmm. Anyway, it's nice. So Raju, Sunil and Rajesh didn't come. Mm, Devansh case, okay. So Karim, so you must be in the second group. Karim and uh, Karim, did you ever talk to anybody in the class or you refused? No, no, no. Yes, uh, we spoke, sir. Initially, we had a discussion two days back. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, mm -hmm. So that time, uh, we created one telegram group. And, uh, wow. <laughs> Very they good. added Google Doc also, but the problem is all of us couldn't uh, meet at the same time, but still we chatted, uh, we couldn't speak on at the same time, but still mm -hmm. uh, like few minutes, I mean, before class, also, mm -hmm. we had actual discussion happen today, sir, actually, you previously Very made good. arrangements. Very good, I am pleased. So, today, I checked with the others and uh, Bharat was out. I thought you would say I'm in office and don't disturb me. <laughs> no, no, sir. Like actually, Bharat is out of station, so uh, we disc. Okay. But still, he he was replying, and uh, Deepthi and I uh, tried to make some. Point. Very good, very good, very good. Please, I am pleased. Particularly in ethics and essay, there is nothing to study. Yes. 
so don't treat your classmate as your as your rival competitor to state first rank or is state is just interact learn there is so much to learn there is so much to learn very good okay you need not have written on um, padlet it is enough if you share your ideas so oh, sir we posted okay. it actually but it was a few no. minutes just a few minutes before the class okay 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 fine i saw only so uh, yeah. but uh, we both just one second posted. just one second i'll see the post padlet actually the dp and i both posted individually should it be like uh, that or that's, that's okay okay but you as long as you posted in the right uh, place so okay. karim um so you posted and then okay i approved it now deepthi didn't post oh okay sir i uh, now she is telling that she will reach in five minutes we oh, is trying to oh, only first one third there is no posting in the first one third which is that of sunil's okay okay now sunil uh tell me what are your impressions first of all have you liked the movie i saw it for the first time <laughs> okay in fact i was seeing it maybe for the fifth time but i still felt uh, very fresh and refreshing sir uh, from the beginning hmm. i was so confused because every line had a uh, something to say i mean okay. something to you know please please so you should speak hmm while in the beginning we all uh, met so i told them that uh, uh, my view is every line that there is in the movie every line has something to convey to us that's true and both and the other mates also i mean my teammates they also mm. agreed so mm. then uh, we took the event and then we proceeded mm. overall movie is good and mm. and it may, it makes you revise your history also more mm. that's true Spire that's true. that's the reason Spire. in fact i'm doing only two movies like this gandhi and second movie ambedkar that's all ambedkar offers a different perspective that's all i believe that only these two people uh, from political field are really original in india the remaining are, i have i was not convinced of any of them Gandhian and Ambedkar are two great people. Hmm. Okay, Sunil. Now tell me, what did you like in the movie? Confine to your first third. Event or an idea, anything so, that touched you. So let so me tell you why I gave you is that you should be able to observe and make your own conclusions. Because in your answers, you know, I am making a particular conclusion and you are repeating it in the answer. So you, let's say, all answers are nearly good. So I thought uh, you should make your own observations and you should learn to make observations from newspapers, current affairs, from everything and from people around. It is like that. Okay, Sunil, please continue. So the way we uh, we have taken is this task is. so mm-hmm. of the one third we also again divided it in one third mm-hmm. so okay. i'll be doing from 1 to 0 uh, to 20 minutes okay next will be taken by rajesh and third would be rajiv okay Good. so first 20 minutes i will say okay so first is the death of uh, assassination by nathuram godse mm. so first event is when he, he uh, when the bullet hits him so he uh, he says oh god mm. so that that is he was a kind of spiritual person mm. first is is that second mm. is the tribute where a lot of people gather to pay homage okay. to okay now you just take one event just confined to that what did he what do you mean by that what do you know about it why did he say that sir he believed in the religions and the gods that's true but why should he say it then because I me mean, i'll tell you here you know gandhi believed like in a traditional hindu religion that what you think of at the time of death okay 
that's what you will reach you are supposed to think of god and then he said that if i am if i am truly great person i will i will utter god's name when i am dying okay so thinking of uh, god what you think at the time of death is supposed to influence your after life okay and uh, but then uh, uh, to be able to think of higher things and nice things at the time of death it is believed you should have had a good life okay and all these things gandhi believes so that was supposed to be a test of how well he lived he was satisfied he was satisfied and of course he always wanted a purposeful death and that's what he had death that uh, serves a purpose that that is a message remember he was not killed by a muslim but killed by a hindu unlike indira gandhi who was killed by a person of her opposite religion indira gandhi was killed by a sikh and produced riots but gandhi was killed by a hindu and produced peace because people were shocked that this is what a hindu can fanatic can do if it was a muslim that would be a different issue so through death he was giving a message okay continue sorry hmm. so the next statement is when uh, people from all over the world came to pay homage to him hmm. so the commentator was saying that he is neither a commander of army hmm. he he is no and neither a person hmm. with huge scientific or artistic achievements hmm. yet people from across the world have come together to see him or pay homage to him hmm. so so even so this was so much depressing that mm. even without the materialistic mm. like notion that people have mm. or held that power and everything mm. so it's 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 too defeated at that point of time mm. people can be touched by non material things that's true people can be touched and uh, people have that that is what gandhi believed that's truth in everybody truth in everybody and truth can be reached accessed okay i don't think on any indian politician a movie can be made except on gandhi i mean a movie that the world can watch indians will watch Indians will watch a movie on Narendra Modi, and that will that might be popular. But, uh, <laughs> but how will the world take? It has to have a universal message, and Gandhi's life has that message. Okay, next. Hmm. So next event is the train train hmm. journey. Hmm. Then he was kicked out of the first class. Mm. so there are uh, first is he wasn't aware of the law mm. so mm. being a, an educated man mm. even he wasn't aware so what would happen to a mm. normal poor man mm. second is uh, the the collector the ticket checker was asking him that there are no colored attorneys in south mm. africa mm. so which he replies that and i, I am colored and from that you can deduce that there are at least one <laughs> colored attorney in south africa mm. so that other guy was aghast that how can he say so 
and he was thrown out. So what was the important thing about him, about that? So he got he humiliated to fight. Hmm. He was humiliated and he it humiliated. touched him. But then that it was not response to personalization of humiliation. Okay, what did they do to me? Not like that. But he looked at a broader cause. This is unjust and we will fight. And that changed his life. Most people would have thought, okay, I came here for a particular mission and I'll complete my work and go back. But Gandhi didn't think so. Neither he ignored uh, injustice, nor he took it personally. Two things are there in that. People want personal solution, but Gandhi didn't seek personal solution. His solution was social. It is not, this has happened to me, no. This is happening to people and I should rebel. That is the difference between a small man and a great man. Great man sees the bigger picture. He may come to know about the society through a personal problem, but he sees the bigger problem. It is not how I could have avoided it, but how people would have avoided it. But life always touches personally. It, it touches personally. But they tend to look at things impersonally. That is their nature. They are freed from personal sorrow in that sense. Okay. So many would have felt it personally and would have sought a personal solution. But Gandhi did not. You will see the same thing in Ambedkar also personal offenses, but impersonal solutions. Sir, wasn't it not most, that most people, most civil service aspirants, they will see the personal offenses, but they will, uh, they will think of personal solutions. I will be this and escape from this. Everybody is offended, but how one responds to offense is the issue. There is no life without being offended. But how you respond to the offense is the issue. The response can take you to freedom the response can take you to bondage. Mm -hmm. Sunil, please continue. Sir, in drawing parallel with civil services and uh, Gandhi, mm -hmm. sir, there was a common enemy in Gandhi's story, but in this, we do not have a common enemy. Enemy, I said, the other person. That is true, but so many people at the time did not think of common enemies. They were busy with themselves, with their personal careers. It is true, during colonialism, there is an explicit enemy, but at any time, systems have problems. And what do you do with the problem is an issue. Hmm. 
later we had a collective story and then we created a common enemy not that everybody at that time was thinking of a common enemy any social issue where somebody is doing something bad is a common enemy to that group is like that hmm sunil so next is the when they discuss with the hmm? people hmm. who were already who were indian people in the hall hmm. where uh, he thought that only he was the one i mean he wanted to inquire how is the situation so he discusses hmm. so the muslim trader does that i am rich hmm. but i am indian and that's why i cannot walk with the hmm. with the europeans together hmm. on which he was aghast that you can employ an attorney but you cannot walk with them hmm. so he was this kind of sarcasm in real life mm. so he was he was also shocked by this and he said that this is so unchristianite so again a reference mm. to god exactly so he took religion very seriously mm. unchristian he said yes hmm then he also said that he will make use But of but can you so- tell me the christian elements in him Sunil, you are a Christian, right? No, sir, I am Buddhist. Buddhist, okay. Um, okay. What are the Christian elements in Gandhi's teaching? Sir, what are Christian elements? I don't know. Non-violence. Non-violence. Okay. If you slap. Okay, that one cheek yeah. you show the other cheek is just is what Jesus said, and Gandhi's friend was saying, was it not simply metaphorical? Gandhi was saying, no, it was true. <laughs> yeah, that is it. So never return hatred with hate. Forgiveness, forgiveness transforms the person. this is essentially christian philosophy of course some say jesus himself was influenced by buddhism 600 years gap some think he would have been buddha buddhist but there he did certain things and finally that what he faced so non violence belief in truth belief in transformation and that's what impressed martin luther king he said i read so many political philosophies i read so much but nobody influenced me as gandhi did because i saw the application of christianity on a large scale what is christianity no revenge no hatred no violence as a response but why because others can be transformed so christianity represented kindness okay yes fine unchristian actually little on examination point of view everything you are saying you know can be written down as a point i didn't i thought uh, each one of you should give one point but you are giving so many points any incident can be a point because hmm. each incident has a lesson has something to say of course atten beros that was a great movie he made that was a 20 plus years long dream for atten baro to one day make film on gandhi 20 or 30 years finally he made it okay sunil hmm. the next is the where they gathered for burning the passes hmm 
so gandhi stand was hmm. the symbol of our status is embodied in hmm. these passes hmm. so let's eliminate this difference and he hmm. he then uh, made people to convince people to let's burn it and eliminate this difference so he was burning it hmm. so even even though he got some sticks from the colonial people but he was firm with this principle okay. that i want to do and using non violent means hmm. don't you see that is everything he learned he learned in south africa application oh, in india everything ashram civil disobedience hindu muslim unity use of religion peace everything he learned in south africa then at a late age he came to india and wanted to apply it on a large scale but all his lessons are learned in south africa okay next sir he gave equal importance to women when uh, the trader asked him that some hindus have bought their uh, wives mm-hmm. also hmm? he gave equal importance to women when muslim trader told him that some hindus have brought their wives so he said no it's not that my wife i have asked my wife to gather the other other women mm-hmm. so he gave importance to women also mm-hmm. in that light where did he ill treat women where did he ill treat and then regret sir uh, sir when he forced kasturba to kind of <laughs> get out of the home kind of situation he regretted right then Uh, but, but one what thing did, i what did her husband what did her husband uh, okay what did uh, she say then she said you are also human uh, she and if you are like this though you want to be good how about us when we don't want to be so good uh, right so he couldn't control his anger but remember that anger was on her refusal to clean the toilet So Gandhi believed in such things. He didn't believe in caste. In that sense, personal sense. So because she refused, she was so angry and pushed, but realized no. Okay, woman. Hmm. Okay. So one guy was sent by Gokhale to meet Gandhi, hmm. Andrew. So and in the first when you are watching movies like this you know you refer to wikipedia now and then see a fan to you just refer to who is this man deena bandhu came christian missionary sent by gokhale okay one very close to gandhi and later he went to fiji gandhi only asked him to uh, to leave for fiji saying that we should show that we ourselves can can do and not not the britishers were not involved because when he came the security guards behaved differently he was allowed everything because he was british and missionary so when he wanted okay let it be demonstrated that indians can get it on their own okay next hmm. so so that andrew said told gandhi that mm-hmm. i thought you would be bigger so so i thought all you... andrew told gandhi that i thought you would be bigger the first uh, very first saw him okay okay so so that was also one more thing that even uh, though gandhi was small but his ideas were so big mm-hmm. kind of so next That's thing true. was in fact actual gandhi was much smaller than Okay, <laughs> Gandhi in movie. Gandhi in movie is very muscular. <laughs> okay, but real Gandhi is much weak, lean, thin. Okay. Hmm. So uh, next was uh, Andrew asked him, "I want to help. Uh, is that surprising for you?" Hmm. So Gandhi said, "I was amazed in the uh, amazed uh, before this, but not now." he says that when you are fighting for the cause people pop up even when it is dangerous exactly that's one very important thing when you are fighting for a cause people will join you 
when you are fighting only for yourself then others won't you know why many people find the world very very selfish because they are involved in selfish activities and people around them are selfish on other hand if they are doing something good different people will join them and their view of the world also will be different so each person has his own view of the world but in this process he is creating that world many people or most people don't know this that they are creating the world so gandhi understood there is one movie mahesh babu movie kaleja he was uh, declared as god and mahesh babu wants to know why god is god may be helping him he realizes he says that whenever he is intending to do something which is non personal god is helping him <laughs> when it is for himself god is not help there is some truth there may not be any god but uh, people around are touched when it is not selfish act this is what gandhi said also right exactly you are the product of your thoughts what you exactly. think to become exactly that's human part of human nature So that is the reason why Gandhi could get people from all over the world, particularly from Western civilization. Okay, next. Then sir, the same thing. Uh, like uh, the entry was walking with him, and he was to, he told that offer the next cheek, and three mm-hmm. boys were trying to block his way. Mm-hmm. When three boys. the mm. three english boys were trying to block his way mm. while going so he the metaphorical context mm. that offer mm. the next cheek mm. so so to these three boys gandhi tells that mm. you will find there is room for all of us while just crossing the so he mm. says that you will find that mm. there is room for all of us mm. and then in the la- last he says that every religion teaches the same principle Mm. one religion can learn from the another mm. fine how many minutes did you cover sir 20 minutes okay 20 minutes so much you didn't cover smarts the smarts should be covered by okay. raju or rajesh rajesh now you were done sorry deepthi wanted to ask something if you still want to say something did you unmute 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 ah oh, please you want you had you had something to say deepthi some audio issue is there ah oh, okay sir ah uh, uh. you are not audible ajitthi you can check ha ah, ra ha ah. case yes sir uh, sir i just want to share my uh, oh. thought regarding oh. that uh, when you are fighting for a cause people oh. will join you oh. even if it is uh, dangerous that's, that's what gandhi says that's sir right. recently there was a movie called republic hmm. in which the uh, a uh, hero is a district collector mm. and he fights for some environmental cause mm. so uh, the movie ends up with uh, with the people that he wanted to fight for mm. turns up against him because mm. of some self interest mm. so, so i just want to share this at uh, this point sir because uh, this mm. can also be uh, not practical at every times mm. 
because of self interest people with self interest will oppose there is no doubt people with self interest will will op- will oppose and uh, some of those may melt but that is a point right that's how people are divided yes sir uh, that is true sir people mm-hmm. with a self interest will oppose but mm-hmm. the movie shows that the self interest of people ch- can also ch- change that's fine. initially they, they might uh, opt for uh, some we will uh, we i will also watch and then discuss this if it is a good movie okay sir okay. sure ha uh, rajesh continue hmm. thank you sir hmm. then rajesh first tell me do you like did you like the movie yes sir you feel it is it was being forced on you no hmm. sir i like it very much and okay uh, it is so uh, thought provoking did you watch this before yes sir i did i did okay hmm hmm and uh, the gandhi ji was informed that uh, they mm. changed the past laws mm. uh, in the scene of uh, general smarts with uh, mm. walker is mm. journalist mm. he thought about gandhi ji as a shrewd shrewd man mm. he is a shrewd man mm. and walker wanted to meet gandhi mm. with and the general smart also tells that uh, hmm. most of the britishers uh, most of the englishmen hmm. inclined towards uh, hmm. spiritual uh, indians hmm. Hmm. and this walker came here and uh, hmm. how did that come about uh, rajesh you have any idea how did that come about how did most britishers some britishers have weakness for indian spirituality because the britishers uh, only wrote one person roman roland and then max muller uh, they made the sanskritic texts uh, translated sanskritic texts into english bhagavad gita was popular and they knew some indian saints and uh, you know that woman called mera hmm, Uh, she influ- she was influenced by roma roland's uh, book on mm-hmm. gandhi okay so they could see that there was some spirituality in india so that's what he was saying that uh, british people have weakness for who are regarded as spiritual people okay but this man is very shrewd and be careful okay hmm rajesh continue Mr. Walker came to Gandhi in his ashram and mm. Mm. met him. Mm. He introduced the ashram mm. and his and the ashram people there. Mm. There everybody with their Jews, Christians, mm. Muslims. Mm. Every it's a place for everybody. Mm. There will be no exactly. Uh, That is another thing. Exactly. Hindus, Muslims, everybody. In fact, mm. in India, in India, there were untouchable souls. in south africa there were no untouchables but in india there were untouchables so whoever gave donation the donors have to accept that everybody would be accepted so communal uh, communal division of work and uh, no discrimination that is what gandhi believed so the unity model was applied in south african context mm-hmm. and gandhi is fam- was familiar with uh, unity he was saying that in in porbandar the yeah, port port place and people uh, from various religions used to be there so gandhi was used to this idea of unity okay rajesh continue hmm. and also gandhi ji knew the importance of media in organizing a exactly for communities exactly so he started a newspaper yes hmm, yes. hmm. then he also hmm. considered oh, mr walker considered him as an ambitious man but hmm. uh, this little gandhi hmm. uh, considered he said no i am not an ambitious because i am just uh, doing mm-hmm. small things which we can do for our own selves that's oh. what is uh, intention mm-hmm. 
and also gandhi asked mira bai to set a place for uh, mr hmm. walkers driver or mr hmm. walkers uh, but mira bai came much later no in south africa ashram she was not there no sir she was she was there no kasturba gandhi you are talking about no, kasturba sorry, gandhi sorry uh, kasturba gandhi इवेंट he said he wanted to in, set up a royal commission for investigating the okay hmm. possible uh, hmm. legislation hmm. for uh, indian hmm. indian hmm. Hmm. he wanted to stop the immigration as he wanted to hmm. he also he it. said okay ha huh. he said it also hmm. meant uh, reducing the immigration but kandhi said okay hmm. that is not the issue we are fighting about but, yes. okay he huh. agreed and Okay. Is that what you observed, or there is something more? Just take time there. I would say that is different, different between watching a movie and reading a book, particularly reading general studies books. So, what was the last meeting with Smuts? Okay, Deepthi, you want to say something about this particular question? If your audio is, if your audio is fine, hmm? what was the significance of the last meeting? Can I try? Just one second. Just one second. Hmm? Who wants to speak? Sir, Raju. Ah, Raju, please. Hmm. British were ready to Raju. compromise. Huh? British were ready to compromise. okay british were ready to compromise that is true you are right but there is something more sunil you have something to say coming yes, in the sir. first part hmm. so gandhi said that now that we are in an advantageous position i don't want to make deal which we didn't ask for okay hmm. there is something more no gandhi ji said uh, could you have tea he offered the tea but he refused mm -hmm. mr jasmat smart ask after he made tea mm -hmm. but he refused to like in the prison mm -hmm. but before that i think you missed one very important point Sir, you are asking about uh, Smuts' uh, discussion. What was the important thing in his last meeting with the Smuts, as shown in the movie? He they did not. Just one second, Harry. You want to try? Uh, yes, sir. Smuts' law. Smuts' law fingerprint for collected for the Indians. So that uh, against that he was speaking. That's fine. and he was telling that um, though they try to kill me uh, self respect is uh, they can't uh, mm. take away mm. you are spoiled by the books bharat one last attempt or hope did you watch that event of last meeting with smarts bharat Sir, okay. that was Harat the last time. Fine, fine. Sir, okay, that was I'll the last you. time. I'll tell you. I think you will agree that say I want to go home, but I can't walk in this dress. I'd go in a cab or something. Okay, you go, but I don't have money. Yes, yes, sir. 
smarts had the money and so he asked he next one borrowed borrowed and then why all that tell me he was ready to spend a simple life from then what who was ready to gandhi was ready to spend a simple indian life or simple life from then onwards that is the last time he wore no 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 he want he no he decided on simple yeah. life much later he just didn't have money that's all yeah. he wanted to go to india immediately to uh, like a similar situation that's right but what was the need for him to ask for money and what was the need for them to give and what was the need for direct to show it point is they were departing as friends there was no hatred and they could ask and they would give there was no hatred in fact in actual movie not in this movie in actual thing when he was jailed gandhi made made chappals to be given to smarts in when he was in jail so he says hate the evil and not the evil doer and that he could impress on them so that's why he could ask and two people behaved like friends though they were first shocked and the same attitude in the end also we lived this long for so many years let them go as friends that was what gandhi was talking about gandhi is very very interested that whomever you are fighting against remains a friend unlike in our movies where they think they are good and the other person is an evil and then if you are sympathetic to evil then you are bad gandhi takes it as one of his strategies are part of his nature that whomever you are fighting against he should be your friend no alternative so during a gandhi even pact gandhi you know after non civil disobedience movement even was praising gandhi you have conducted a nice struggle just like they are talking as if they are close friends that is the spirit of gandhi friendship so whatever you act that should be morally correct should not generate hatred so what happens in this approach is that problems don't get complicated in fact they stay focused on the issue i don't have about the republic in many movies there will be some injustice but the issue will be shifted there will be personal rivalry and many things will get added whereas whereas in gandhi and struggle the issue stays focused stays focused and everybody will concentrate on the issue only without getting into ego battles that's one very important thing so the whole thing takes place on moral ground and impersonal i am fighting on this issue i am not against you so the meeting shows friendship that is the essential thing about gandhi hmm rajesh next hmm rajesh you sorry you should unmute unmute yourself rajesh yes yes anand 
Then he went to Kasturba. Hmm. Hmm. Then what? What you said now? He uh, the dignity of labor. He talked about the dignity of labor. Yes. Okay. And importance of the work. Yes. Hmm. Then he got the anger. He repent. Hmm. He. That's another thing. Just yes. let us discuss that. Gandhi, you know, in movie many times he was doing physical work. People hmm. around him were shocked. Another thing about Gandhi, he gives importance to physical work. In fact, he thinks that is one of the things that are that is neglected in uh, education. What we consider child labor, Gandhi may think uh, that is a part of the education. Child labor, not in an exploitative sense. The children should be doing, and elderly people should be doing. Gandhi is always doing some kind of work, walking, and he is extremely health conscious. And you know he is a scientist in many many things. He he is scientific on health related issues, and he looks at health in terms of how to maximize health with minimum of expenditure. Experimented on nature cure and many other things, and focuses on restraint. Sexual restraint was one among the among that food restraint, walking habit, keeping healthy, fasting. These are extremely valuable things for modern civilization and modern man. Modern man doesn't exercise, eats too much, base feelings, no work. Okay. Always studying, studying, or doing office work. Gandhi was against all those things and simple life. Okay, and then connected to smallest things like taking care of that uh, cow, 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 talking to children. So you saw how Jinnah found him shocking. Boy, what is this fellow? Oh my God, what to do with this man? <clears throat> so he said, "No work is below your dignity." A simple life and a leadership that. Reflected the simplicity and that uh, taking into account the poverty of the people. Maybe Gandhi in a wealthy country would have been different, but in a country like this, simplicity was the option. When so many people were poor. In fact, these themes are becoming more important now. Simplicity. From health point of view, fasting. Okay. And uh, environmental point of view, simplicity, non-materialism. So these are the things that Attenborough showed, though the focus was on politics. Hmm. Tajesh. Then again, uh, mm. people gathered against the general smart legislation. Okay. Mm. It is one of the very important uh, scene in the old, mm. old movies. Huh? That's true. Because it tells about the crux of the Gandhi's ideology. Exactly. Yes. That's true. Uh, he welcomed everybody, including the British police. Mm. That's he, true. And, <clears throat> and that's true people reacted very uh, violent people reacted uh, with an anger mm. to the general smart law but uh, gandhi ji asked them to show your anger anger against the mm. uh, show your anger against the, the 
Oh, what is it? Injustice. Okay. Not against the people. Not not against the hmm. people. Hmm. But be prepared to die and not yes. prepared to kill. Yes, yes, exactly. Be bold, but bold yes. to to be prepared to die and not yes. bold to be prepared to kill. Yes, you have to show such courage. Hmm. You have to exactly. be courageous. Gandhi stood for courage. Yes, but courage to die and not courage to kill. To kill. Yes. Okay. He is just redefining concepts in an unusual way. Extremely original thinker. Okay. Next, Raju. Sir. You were the last part of the first, last third of the first, first third. Then, then Gandhi meeting smart so. Mm, that we discuss. Yeah, we discuss. Mm. Okay. Then he comes to India. Okay. Mm. When he comes to India, there are there was huge crowd mm. to welcome him. Mm. Then he changed all whole attire. Mm. Earlier he used to be in English dress. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Then the World War One was happening during those times. Mm. Journalists asked him uh, mm. whether you support British or not. Mm -hmm. Then he replies, uh, mm. uh, "If we enjoy British protection." It mm. is wrong, wrong, wrong mm. part on us. Mm. Can you, you tell me what does this remind you of? Is the person talking to somebody else we did? Socrates. Exactly. Thank you, Devansh. Ah, Socrates. Socrates also said exactly the same thing. We enjoyed the benefits of the state. And when you at the initial problem, how can you run away? Okay. So Gandhi is not against the state, not against law as such, but only against unjust laws. Actually, Gandhi's position on war shocked many people. How can you defend? And then Gandhi for quite some time, he was thinking of himself as a citizen of the empire. In fact, that was his image during his struggle in South Africa. Essentially, Socratic position. Socratic position on that religion and spiritual ideology, which Socratic, of course, never had anything like that. But there is injustice and defy and face punishment, face death. That is so crazy. And it was not accidental. Gandhi was very much impressed by Socrates. He translated one book into Gujarati on Socrates' tribe. So, next. And do you know, uh, in India's freedom struggle, till that point, do you know what people like Tilak and others do? They do seditious things, but in the court they would argue, they have not done anything. Whereas Gandhi's position is that, yes, I made a seditious thing. And so, if you are doing your duty properly, you jail me. Vipin Chandra in his book says that it is an advancement in freedom struggle uh, as, as a kind of logical advance. It is not like that. It is because of Gandhi. Gandhi brought that advance because Gandhi had a different ideology. Are you following, Raj? So, Anjastla, I am doing this. And if you are doing your job properly, punish me. So you are seeking punishment. Hmm. Please, Raju, continue. Um, hmm. the, one of the journalists asks, uh, hmm. what is your plan in India? Then he says, I don't know. Exactly. That's true. He didn't jump into Congress activities. 
you wanted to study okay even jinna asked ask gandhi to join home rule yes. so go go class to write about the, the divide divide between religion okay. who was the most important person close to gandhi in politics gokhale gokhale he held gokhale as his political mentor okay it was gokhale who brought gandhi to uh, india from south africa through andrews okay hmm next gandhi denies uh, their uh, Gupta Gokhale and Jinnah uh, and uh, says I I don't know about India. Mm-hmm. I am alien to this country. I want to travel. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then he starts his traveling mm-hmm. throughout India. He saw he saw some insurgency mm-hmm. incidents happening, mm-hmm. derailing of train mm-hmm. and killing of some English. Mm-hmm. So he he was disheartened about that. Mm-hmm. Then in mm-hmm. Congress, one of the Congress meeting. he was don't you, no, don't you see he believes that through violence you cannot be successful think uh, somewhere he asks is there any group which can take on the government so what is the change is it the change to punish yourself or change what he asks so terrorism is not a solution to india's problems that is what bhagat singh also realized Bhagat Singh said, "At a, at one stage in my life, I believed terrorism, but now I am not." So Gandhian method was very relevant to Indian context that enabled mass participation. Otherwise, it would have been much more mindless violence. So in that sense, Gandhi had a strategic sense also, shrewdness. It is in that sense. Hmm. Taz. Uh, in one of the Congress meeting, Gandhi was invited to speak. Sir. Hmm. There, there were many. Uh, Jinnah spoke hmm. already about hmm. and asked hmm. people to join Home Rule. Hmm. Then Gandhi comes and uh, says. Uh, Mm. Congress cannot represent the whole of India. Exactly. Mm. It is. Can, a, can you tell me? That's good. Can you tell me what is the most important shift Gandhi brought? In fact, thank you. I actually thought of discussing from ethics point of view, but this is so much. There are so many things there. Mm. What was the most important shift Gandhi made to political struggle? Sir, he he said. Uh, people are not bothered about this politics which are you are these exactly. lawyers are doing exactly we ne- we need to go to the stem people to go to people we have to work people. with them and mm. then only people are in villages people are in villages villages then he takes up a struggle what was the struggle chempar Hmm. I think the first third is over. Yes, uh, Champaran. I think second part. Second yeah, Champaran. Okay, Karim will. Deepthi, what is your question? You wanted to say something. Need not be question. Ah oh, yes, sir. I wanted to say that uh, Gandhi identifies that masses are bothered about bread and salt and not about nation. So unless the national movement includes the problems of the most downtrodden people of India, That's true. then only those people will look at national movement. So these two things have to be exactly. Clubbed. Exactly. So Gandhi brought mass politics. Congress politics, he said, nothing to do with people's problems. So you know, one major difference is one historian writes: before Gandhi, people were promising big, big things and not delivering anything. And Gandhi came and took some small problems. Champaran is one, and another another issue. Uh, there was some related to uh, Champaran issue was one. Where was that indigo issue? Champaran. 
champaran champaran uh, champaran indu ish and then there was another story. ahmedabad and then kheda 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 okay so he took local problems and solved them whereas previously congress leaders were speaking big things and doing nothing but gandhi spoke about local problems and then solved some solution and people felt okay he is a man who is approachable so it is a huge shift big shift champaran kheda these are two important moments hmm okay second part karim you want to say you can hmm. yes sir hmm. so what are the main aim? oh who sir uh, just uh, sorry oh. to interrupt sir yes uh, no, please sir, sir by shifting to uh, domestic problems hmm. uh, it's a kind of uh, democratizing the uh, the voice of congress hmm. like by including the rural masses hmm. into the forefront by discussing the issues of the poor people hmm. uh, as a main agenda hmm. i think it's kind of a democratizing mm, that's true huge shift yes. mm. that's what bipin chandra also writes from elitist to down and down so by gandhi time it enters mass phase gandhi was majorly responsible for that okay karim mm. so gandhi ji speak to few farmers who were starving because of the mm. uh, britishers uh, forcing them to cultivate a particular indigo crop mm. So, mm. and on the other hand they had to pay huge rents and that also only in cash and this uh, i mean they were unable to sell this as well because mm. there was some craze for uh, england uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, clothes much mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. they were explaining to gandhi that this is the problem sarin so, so then gandhi thought he can less. he has to fight it finally what was the result laws were changed it was successful mm. but what was the method that was the result what was the method he came they were willing to he conveyed that he always wanted to fight injustice but not in a violent manner but uh, exactly. uh, he willing he to get arrested that was people mobilized willing to get arrested and mm-hmm. finally it was successful same south african strategy applied here for the first time okay next <clears throat> after that there would be some discussion along with this congress lead Mm-hmm. so in that discussion uh, they were they would be uh, speaking that passive resistance will not work uh, for us mm-hmm. so we should then gandhi also supports saying yes uh, even mm-hmm. i support that uh, we can, we have to go for active and negative mm-hmm. mm-hmm. resistance mm-hmm. even there he mentions uh, that don't you say that Mm. through if we are not cooperating and also are not doing anything that itself will stop the whole country exactly. so he was mm. Mm. everything gets blocked how the impact would be so mm. then they exactly. start executing exactly this is different from south africa non cooperation because of non cooperation paralyzing everything okay there was nothing like paralyzing in south africa Okay. and these people were shocked but finally what happened violence took place violence so gandhi's first major strike was violent jallianwala bank so gandhi understood that in south africa numbers were small small so we could do it but Sir, luckily, that... there seem to be problems adipte that is after chaura chaura no after the chauri chaura took place during the first non cooperation moment this was uh, numbers were uh, huge and we didn't face this the problem was different uh, chauri chaura was cdm 10 years later oh sorry sorry 
Sauri Chowra is not CDM, non-cooperation. Non-cooperation. Thank you. Uh, see, first, first against Rahul attacks. That was the first thing. And second, non-cooperation. Third, civil disobedience. Okay. Greatest and more perfect, most perfect was civil disobedience moment. But first failure was against Rahul attack. Rahul attack, Jalian Walabak. And then he believed that. I mean, violence at many places. So the worst thing took place there in uh, Amritsar. But Gandhi realized that uh, Indian scale was different and people need to be educated and trained and uh, he was in a haste. Okay. In fact, he called it Himalayan blunder. Okay, Karim. <clears throat> So oh, after that uh, general order, he just goes on massive firing. Hmm. After this, uh, they will have a discussion. Like Nehru will have a discussion hmm. with Gandhi. Hmm. There he conveys, as you said, he will convey that hmm. uh, that numbers were small, and he hmm. also realizes that uh, it is the time to stop. Uh, hmm. uh, I mean, resistance uh, expressing. Hmm. Hmm. Now, in your second part, tell me what are the new things which we didn't discuss in the first part. Initially, he was supporting passive resistance, uh, Sir uh, Gandhi, in the initial part. But mm -hmm. that time, he was telling we need not provoke uh, provoke them. Uh, but now he came to a stage that active and uh, uh, provocative thing is the need of the art. So, mm -hmm. This is one thing, and even he tries to uh, even he he tries to stick on his words, saying that violence uh, shouldn't be there even now, and mm -hmm. he even mentions that eye for an eye just keeps on uh, going, the, and result in, in a blind world. There would not be use of uh, going for violence. So this is one thing, and even the religious tolerance and untouchability, these kind of things he will put in place. Mm -hmm in the mm -hmm. second half. So mm -hmm. he will say that uh, we the main things we should not have, uh, like uh, Britishers are making uh, cash out of this uh, particular, I mean, like they are taking the, uh, what to say, the disturbances which we have in our India mm -hmm. as a positive things. So, uh, for example, uh, this Hindu Muslim unity mm -hmm. and uh, untouchability, uh, like- uh, What is Gandhi stand on Hindu Muslim unity? Tell me, Karim. Mm -hmm. What was his view on, what is the solution to Hindu-Muslim problem? What was Gandhi's solution and do you agree with it? Who is right between Jinnah and Gandhi? Basically, how did Gandhi... Sir, it know? was not unmuting. Sorry, sir. Uh, sir, could you please repeat? Sir, it was not how did, how did Gandhi view Hindu-Muslim issues? What, do, what did he see as the problem and what was his solution? Uh, British act, are actually telling that uh, there is a minority as well in your uh, country, something like um, Muslims also. So the, uh, to establish peace, their requirement is there, something like that. So that time he says that uh, this heterogeneity is everywhere. So uh, we have to handle our own. Uh, I mean, we are capable of handling our own thing. And you Just cannot... One second. Just one second. What he meant was, yes, there were differences. But it should be our problem and not our yours. problem and not yours, and you cannot be masters in our home. This is what that's fine. Okay, <laughs> so it's our problem and we will handle it. Okay, mm, but how did uh, he want to handle the problem? Though it can be internal, but how did he want to handle? What is your understanding? I think through uh, education, something like he wanted to propagate those values as well, something like non-violence. Uh, that we we are Indians, and uh, it is not like uh, Hindus are different and uh, Muslims are different. Uh, with the nationality feeling, he was trying to uh, combine uh, people. Is what I think. Oh, third part. Just one second. Just one second, please. This is one very important issue. Deepthi, you wanted to say something on this issue? You can. Actually, I felt that... Is my question clear? Is my question clear? 
What is my question? Karim, can you repeat my question first? Yes, he wanted to achieve the Hindu Muslim unity, but what is the method he is? Okay, fine. What is the method? Deepthi, you want to answer it? Or are you saying something else? Uh, sir, I want to try the answer. Hmm. Um, uh, Gandhi felt that the minority should not be, uh, should not have the feeling that they are ignored. So the majority should should give them give space for the accommodation of Muslims. This this was observed when he invited Jinnah what, to. What, please, not clear. What should the majorities do, and what should the mi minorities should not? Minority do should not feel that they are left behind. Okay. So majority should give them that space to feel included. That is why he invited Jinnah to form the. Okay, you mean minorities should be treated well by the majorities. That's why Nehru and uh, Patel says uh, Hindus should not feel that Gandhi has given too much for the Muslims. He has given too much space. That is what Nehru and uh, Patel say to Gandhi when he invites Jinnah to form the government. So what, what do you think is Gandhi's solution to the problem? Uh, to be accommodative to the feelings of minorities. Okay, but do you think that is right where he says let Jinnah be prime minister and all important posts go to Muslims and then uh, that is what Nehru and Patel said that see we don't mind it but why would people accept? So how can that be a solution? Why yes, will sir, then the legitimacy of voting will go. Hmm? Then the legitimacy of the voting system will go because in spite of majority choosing something, if Gandhi invi invites somebody else to form the government, then there is no meaning for the electoral process. There is no so, morally, Gandhi is correct. Practically, when there is a voting system in place, then government should be formed by whoever is elected. So, Gandhi was wrong then. In fact, that is what Jinnah says. See, look, people are not Gandhis. Isn't it? What do you say, Devansh? Let us discuss this because everything else, I think, in South African context, all points are covered. There is nothing much, but more important thing is the communal issue. Devansh, what do you say about Gandhi's Gandhi's way of looking at the problem and Gandhi's solution and how far he is right? Or between Gandhi and Jinnah, who is right? Let us discuss that. Sir, uh, um, when Gandhiji offers uh, Jinnah the entire cabinet, sir, hmm. I look it as more like Gandhiji's desperation for India not to divide because in the end it is said that he said he, he had failed. That's so true. he was just trying to stop the partition anyhow. Hmm. Okay. And sir, and sir uh, in that... Um, Another thing which I observed hmm. when Chauri Chaura happened, Jinnah was kind of excited. He said an eye for an eye for Janiawala Bagh. So it was like uh, we could see that one day he could also call for direct action because he was very receptive of violence. Uh, uh, so later on he called for direct action day and Pakistan resolution and everything. Hmm. So that was the contrast. Just one second, did Jinnah people. say it was an eye for an eye after Chauri Chaura accident? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He he read from the newspaper and he said it is only an eye for an eye after what happened at Janiawala. And then, uh, uh, I mean, it was Sardar Patel, but Jinnah was very excited to uh, read this news. He, he was taken aback when Gandhiji said that he would, uh, he was calling off NCM. So, uh, I mean, I saw that Jinnah was very excited when... Jinnah was excited because he felt that non-violence would no longer, Gandhian methods would no longer work. Maybe for that. Because mm -hmm. Jinnah was not comfortable with Gandhian strategy. Not that he thought that incident was a revenge. He thought non-violence won't work and Gandhian methods won't work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is Gandhi's solution to Hindu Muslim problem? And is he right? He is not practical. He is not practical. Who is practical is, then? Jinnah is... Was Jinnah, Jinnah more is practical. practical? 
Jinna was more practical than Gandhi. Nehru and the Shastri are more practical. But what was their solution? They are practical, but what was their solution? They wanted to make the Jinna compromise for a long time and otherwise they couldn't succeed. They could have succeeded. They couldn't succeed. They couldn't succeed. So what was the way out then? This precisely is the reason why Gandhi was assassinated. The problem was Hindu-Muslim issue. Nationality feeling should be the one which should unite uh, instead of giving this religion this much uh, preference or something like that. But people are, are religious. You mean to say religion should go and then... Uh, uh, nationalism should come. But, and did Gandhi think that way? Religion should be there, but there should be some boundary for it as well. So because even communal but, award... That is true. Religious. But did Gandhi think that way? No. Hmm. So what is Gandhi communal think? Award, uh, what did Gandhi think then? He is trying to satisfy that uh, particular religion and try, he tried to avoid the disputes within Indians itself so that uh, all together can but contribute. What to is the, the way? Okay, let us discuss. Gandhi's solution is religious solution. Because to Gandhi, both Hinduism and Islam, for that matter, any religion, speaks peace. And so, they can and should live together. Gandhi looks at things religiously. That is a problem. Okay, because Gandhi believes each religion has its own truth. These are all strange kind of beliefs. I mean, we may disagree, but that's what he thinks. Islam stands for peace, Hinduism stands for peace, and they can and should live together. And next, majority minority issue. To majority minority issue, Gandhi's solution is give more power to minority then. <laughs> okay. So what are the problems with these two positions? Number one, are religions the same? Who said? Or do all stand for peace? Who said? Maybe some are more violent. That is one issue. Second issue is how can giving more powers to minority be a problem, be a solution when majorities are going to, uh, in a democracy, they are going to rule? So Hindus felt that this is minority appeasement. And minorities felt, Jinnah felt, this won't work and so we need a separate nation. So Jinnah was looking at things politically. Politically, democracy meant would mean Hindu rule. So we don't want a situation where British rule is replaced by Hindu rule. So we want Pakistan. Okay. So whereas Nehru said, okay, I mean, come to practical politics, this is what it is. Then Nehru said, okay, that's true, practical politics will come to. But how do you divide where Hindus and Muslims are everywhere? Then he said majority. Majority at two places. Then he said that's our problem. Not your problem. Mm -hmm. So Gandhi is looking at things in a religious way and a completely idealistic way. All speak same truth and then non-violence and then go all out to sacrifice. But how will that work politically and on a long-term basis? So Jinnah is, such things won't work politically. So give us a part. In my opinion, Jinnah is far more sensitive on this issue. 
for the simple reason that everyone is not a god very simple and that's what it turned out to be so democracy would mean majority rule so you please give us a separate nation okay one view that is suppressed in india is ambedkar's view ambedkar said very very clearly let there be pakistan gandhi is not the solution nor savarkar is the solution gandhi would fail through appeasement and savarkar would fail through violence both these approaches are bad partition is the solution so gandhi is looking at things in a very spiritual religious and moralistic in practical way so it's not that jinnah was a villain jinnah was seeking protection and this fair indian textbooks uh, wrongly portrayed jinnah as a villain i don't think that is that view is right even now people think india should have been one and the goal of rss is akhand bharat so let people live wherever they are happily what is wrong so i believe gandhi should have approved but that is not his nature <laughs> and remember when the congress was not granting jinnah resorted to violence after all he was not mahatma there is no doubt about it but not that he was an evil figure and he loved violence no and jinnah wanted secular pakistan not islamic pakistan jinnah actually had no belief in islam and religion was much much more secular jinnah was not like gandhi so karim what i wanted to say was that gandhi did not believe you forget hindus and muslims and be indians gandhi was not like that that was modern day nationalism that is bipin chandra's version of india textbook version india and is important religion is not important but gandhi is not like that so gandhi religion is important so he didn't think that nation should be more important than religion no gandhi believed religion is important but he believed religion to mean peace so to gandhi like for socrates plato and aristotle there is no gap between ethics and politics the purpose of politics is to maximize ethics again socrates ncrt version of history and india is that religion is a small important thing and nation is great but that was not gandhi's version nor muslims ever said nation is more important than by by very nature islam holds islam to be important and nation is less important so problem with gandhi's position is that religion even if religion essentially says that it all depends on interpretation taliban thinks it is following islam true islam so how can you say true islam is peace and true hinduism is peace and you should be able to live like brothers not necessary so main source of problem was the hindu muslim equation that was the problem then and unfortunately that continues to be the problem even now deepthi what did you want to say 
propaganda for hindu muslim unity started essentially as a weapon against british divide and rule policy is this a wrong understanding sir for me british british wanted to divide and rule so gandhi felt unless hindu and muslim unite we cannot face the british so he used hindu muslim unity simply as a weapon he didn't internally feel that hindu and muslim should be united love each other and all that is this right or did i misunderstand even i thought the same just one second and... just one second no 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 did gandhi ever say britishers were dividing and ruling he didn't use the word sir but in the movie itself he says uh, unless Hin uh, hindu and muslim unite we cannot uh, play against british something like that he says in the movie no what he said was from now onwards the issue was not about independence but what kind of independence we will get the idea that the britishers were dividing is all bipin chandra's version yes sir Mm. from what from whatever we read like i had an opinion before you told that nationality is the common feeling he want to bring no. uh, between these people no, so no, that no. he can avoid uh, uh, negativity within india itself so this is what i was also thinking gandhi was not a nationalist like that this actually came much later bipin chandra's version that hindu uh, britishers were responsible for hindu muslim divide and some even went to the extent of saying britishers were responsible for the caste system is not true it would be wrong to say gandhi blamed them to be responsible for division and gandhi wanted unity so that they wanted it gandhi was not such a nationalist to begin with gandhi had certain broader ideals ideals of truth justice and religion okay mm -hmm. so it is not a strategy for him strategy also but even otherwise that was his principle so that is why gandhi opposed conversions for example in the last scene when a when a hindu person says that his child was killed what does gandhi say i'll tell you a way out and what is the way out you take a muslim child okay whose parents are killed and grow him up as a muslim <laughs> not as a hindu that is not strategy to gandhi that was his faith not because a nation was important that was too stupid too silly too silly not too stupid uh, so is just it one right? just one second so i mean this is how much later nationalism became important nationalism is a, is an evil freedom struggle was made out to be as national struggle the whole story we got wrong Bipin Chandra and others responsible for this. Freedom struggle meant struggle for freedom, anywhere and everywhere. But India's struggle meant it was India's struggle. No. so gandhi believed in certain universal principles nation was not glorified even for that he was criticized by tagore that you are unduly nationalist but gandhi explains that his nationalism is not his nationalism at this stage is struggle for freedom so the idea that nation is more important than hindu muslim division no 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 it is part of islamic faith that islam is more important than nation and gandhi won't have any objection to it because gandhi believed religion is more important than anything else
in life. Because the purpose of politics is to promote ethics. Same Socratic question. Nation is just one arrangement. Okay. So if Gandhism is studied, it is because it is at a higher level, not simply India is great. So the point is truth everywhere, non-violence, accommodation possible. General's point is, look, people are not Gandhis. Democracy works differently. Please let us go. And unlike Gandhi's belief in means and slings, Jinnah had no such ideas. He believed violence can be the means to get a correct end that was Pakistan. So if the Congress was willing to give Pakistan, he wouldn't have resorted to violence. It was like that. Nehru and Patel looked at things politically and differently. That's a completely different issue. So what was the communal agenda they felt? What the communalists felt was that partition could have been avoided by superior force if we only crushed them. We could have crushed and we could have crushed and Gandhi didn't allow this. And so Gandhi was held responsible. And finally, you know, he was killed. Okay, last, Devansh, from your part, fine. Sir, I have a question. Small doubt, sir. Hmm. Sir. Oh, uh, We'll be discussing further. We'll be discussing Gandhi versus Ambedkar, Gandhi versus Tagore, Gandhi versus Economy and Environment. So, Gandhi will be with us. Hmm. Okay. Since you discussed one point in between regarding the British uh, being responsible for caste systems, uh, oh. so uh, generally, like I even I read somewhere that uh, the caste, the Varna system was uh, highly developed or promoted because of these people, British people, because they try to maintain the records for some census or some purposes. So no, this, like, Varna, Varna become. I will discuss this elsewhere. Varna concept, Varna becoming popular is different from caste system. Our system was there. British were categorizing the Varna, MNC was there. So Varna became popular. Word Varna, Brahmin, Kshatriya, Vaisha, Sutra. That scheme became popular during British time because census was being generated around that. But that does not mean they brought the caste system. Huh, they promoted it uh, because of that. They, promo got... they promoted Varna system, Varna, Varna classification. They didn't bring uh, division, they didn't bring untouchability, nothing to do with that. Nor the idea they divided and ruled also is not true. They, they may have made some divisions elsewhere. But basically, uh, Indian textbooks made two villains. Jinnah was one villain and the British government was another villain. So they created a particular kind of history. But uh, Gandhi was not, was not like that. In fact, the idea the Britishers might be bad people came only in 1920s. That, is, that may be shocking. Britishers, when somebody wrote unjust, un-British rule in India, do you know what he meant? British were so good and how can they rule in an un-British way in India? That is the sense of justice. Gandhi was shocked by Jalenwala Bagh event. How can this take place? So Britishers were regarded as just and fair, bringing modernity. So Vipin Chandra's version that we have been impatient, we eating for freedom was not true. They were historical moderates who believed that the British rule was good, but except bad only in economic sense. Extremists said, no, 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 they are related, so they should go. It took some time for Indians to realize that the British rule, even if it was good, it should go. 
Vipin Chandra gives them the impression we were Indians and the king. There was nothing like Indians. India is what they gave. And let me tell you something. You may find it shocking. I would say Gandhi is whom they gave. Why? If not for the British, Gandhi might not have survived. Gandhi played all those games because the British essentially wanted to be good. If it was a Stalin and Hitler, <laughs> Gandhi would have been eliminated. So I would say it was British gift was Gandhi. But even in this uh, movie, they uh, pictured mm. it that way, sir. Like uh, mm. the moment Gandhi uh, conveys something, they were also like Britishers also were kindly accepting some exactly. kind of opinion. Uh, exactly. Exactly. That is true. Even I had that doubt, sir. I wanted to true. check with you if that it is was true. that the, much. The British were like that. British were like that. They were the they were the people who brought civilization. Where did Gandhi learn Gita? It was in London, not in India. Where was Gandhi exposed to Christian ideas? Where did he read Tolstoy, Thoreau? Who taught him English? They are the people who modernized, educated, brought those values, made Indians realize their ancient glory, and left and only to be called exploiters. Absolute nonsense. It's all their gift. This is but mediocre. But this is just mediocre teaching of history. But exploitation also happened. Exploitation is a small thing compared to so much. What is exploitation? Compare in any India, British ruled territory and non-British not ruled territory, which is more prosperous by 1940s. British ruled. Then in Calcutta, maximum they were there. So if they exploited, Calcutta should be more backward. But why Calcutta was forward? So what is this meaning of exploitation? This is all nonsense. This is a wrong reading of history because of which so much of hatred is generated. You should, you should, be, you should feel thankful. Thankful to the British first. And then thankful to Pakistan, Jinnah. For giving Gandhi. So this is all false reading of history. Even few famines, it would be mentioned like man-made famine created by British government, dismayed Indians or something mm -hmm. like that. Man-made? Man-made famines. They speak about uh, man-made famine by British government. Bengal famine. That is true. There were some problems. That is true. Agriculture not helped like that. But bigger issue of who gave India? One-way trade laws, uh, like uh, only export of raw materials is allowed, only import that of That was finishes. all there, but who gave the trade first? Who unified? Who brought railways? The entire modernization started somewhere. The whole world was benefited. They were responsible. Colonies, through colonialism. So we will go through that later. Mm. The British outside was mentioned as completely cruel or unhuman, but in this video, it seems like they were agreeing. Anywhere, were... any anywhere, British rule was far more better, far better. Mm. And anyway, look at India versus uh, British versus India and British versus Kashmir. Who is worse? That's even more important question. How did India rule? Uh, the territories where the freedom struggle was going on. How many Jalin Wala dogs? When the British people were beating, British people only were filming. Where did that freedom given to Indian journalists? Indian army rapes and no reporting. People are buried, no reporting. But did you hear of such things in, in British India? Mm -hmm. 
sir but local press was also under some restrictions even during british rule we are comparing we are not saying no restrictions but we are thinking of a larger picture not that it was problem free okay where are we so coming to anyway we look at when we do ambedkar will ambedkar will have a completely different view on these issues um so this was gandhi's way of looking at things and finally it is where he failed he he could not prevent partition and uh, he could not convince people of certain groups at least okay where we were talking Sir. with they they once last last 5 minutes please what do you want to say what were the points that were not covered and uh, i mean not events but the issues and you wanted to highlight anything else sir i'm looking fine anyway you sir, before this i used to think uh, reading bipin chandra that if uh, jinnah was not born india would not have been divided but now i'm thinking differently thank you thank you i'll post some videos i made some videos on him why you can watch made a series of videos on titled sins of indian history so i'll you can watch them sir sir hmm. So, what is Gandhi's uh, philosophy behind this fast and to death uh, thing? Sir? Where did he do fast? Come in and write. Ah, uh, he believed before that to be, uh, to stop and see he he again in Sapur. Okay, exactly. He believes uh, like the whole philosophy is I can change you through my suffering. Okay, so I can change you because there is truth in you. through my suffering i can change as opposed to through my punishing i will i can change so when the riots were going on he said i will die unless you stop and amazingly it stopped sir is this similar just to just one second just 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 one second so that is what he did in kalkata in fact mount barton calls him my one man boundary force Gandhi was able to stop. But is it not some kind of a blackmail, sir? Because uh, at the end, uh, to stop the blackmailing, uh, blackmailing comes when the others do not have an alternate. Yes, sir. That But, is what uh, then he says that I don't want your death on my consciousness. So, so is it not? He's not uh, willing to stop it. But but why? Why doesn't he want? Uh, because he somehow believed he was wrong. basically fasting can be a blackmail that is a different issue there may be cases of blackmailing but i'm just coming to his philosophy and how it is supposed to work in communal writing you are doing bad i am sure you are bad but you can recognize in yourself that you are doing bad and you can stop that's it when will it be blackmailing blackmailing will be when when if you don't stop then somebody else will beat you because i i will die that can be black man sir for oh. this last part hmm sir um, uh, one important event hmm. uh, after this dharsana raid uh, that journalist walker he said that british hmm. uh, lost all their moral ascendancy exactly. which they used to rule india That's so true. this also shows gandhian uh, importance of non violence exactly. because uh, moral position matters not just between two individuals but also to nations exactly. or groups or civilizations mm. Mm. it was a war of morals not a war of exactly. bullets exactly in fact better and russell writes gandhian strategy worked because these people thought they were good if they felt no we are bad people we don't know how gandhi would work so they thought they were good and gandhi exposes see look you are bad that is a game on other hand if they think yes i am bad i am for power you can't but of course veteran russell and us think that they have christian consciousness that is why they think they are good but gandhi thinks that is human consciousness it is not because they are christian they think they are good but any person thinks he is good same 
as we discussed its socratic position jesus did not think only christians would feel that way they became christians later but jesus was saying to any man buddha was not saying to buddhists but this came later so definitely would gandhi work everywhere it is difficult difficult but works when the other person thinks he is good and he is not so gandhi's strength is moral and remember he is publicizing everything he is not secretly teach preaching something what he is doing something and others are recording and it goes all over the world and they didn't think they should stop this uh, ban and stop any foreign press it's a very simple thing we stop foreign press in kashmir northeast control social media so first of all this is so unusual they were taking time to realize what was going on <laughs> okay and also they felt that this is safer than the terrorist method but that was a government with some consciousness conscience that was the meaning of un british rule un british rule is a compliment you know those debates between moderates and extremists were true not that moderates were backward moderates were more, far modern they felt these people are good there is a problem economic problem we should solve it why are you why do you want them to get out that was their argument during 1857 revolt many intellectuals refused to support the revolt why 1857 ambedkar didn't want britishers to go and be replaced by old system phule had a different idea ambedkar didn't have a different idea they were the forces sources of modernization okay so vipin chandra's version is only one version as a part of our shapes truth <laughs> it is as simple as that till telangana was divided telangana uh, till in united andhra pradesh people read the same books okay in that kumaram bhim was not there and the, uh, the standard telugu was vijayawada telugu villains speak telangana telugu heroes speak vijayawada telugu but now things changed telangana history okay, somebody preparing for telangana public service examination cannot read ap ap books history changed because power changed if this much can go on between two states think of what what goes on at india level so we just need to look at positions but let me tell you whatever the way you look at gandhi is an extraordinary person it is not because of manipulation of knowledge the more you realize there is greatness in him as you know more about other other people who are so mean so violent did an enormous harm to their societies very local so gandhi's view of religion view of accommodation was like that and it failed okay in fact the only good thing about indian freedom struggle is that it was led by gandhi that was only good thing in fact gandhi was the last political contribution of india to the world after that there was nothing it was just imitation okay so religion ethics morality is an unusual mix up and against a just system otherwise he would have been killed in fact some one british man was was discussing with hitler uh, what was the problem in india he said that some people were troubling and um, hitler said why do you take trouble why don't you just kill them 
<laughs> that was hitler's solution so rezel writes that uh, would gandhi have been successful in a different context he was right so the whole thing was like a drama because they didn't want to be banned of course they did not fully know that was what it was evolving we are looking at things in retrospect fine you have done a great job has a doubt ah uh, deepthi you want to ask something and then next next doubt sunil okay deepthi your doubt first Uh, were not bad, or they didn't want to look bad because uh, whenever there was a, uh, for example, Dara Sena Salt Works is there. Mm -hmm. uh, when international press covered it, then British became even more conscious. Is That's it like that also? That is true, but then they were good enough to think that they shouldn't look bad. But there are some people who don't mind it. <laughs> What do you do? Yes. People wanted to terrorize. people want to terrorize people want to say we are bad people and be scared of us isn't it okay next sir please. one hmm. the, one last question sir thank you where is where from where from rajesh then yes. then i okay. will sir hmm. uh, the the doctor randy said that uh, Uh, truth is truth, even if it is a minority of one. That is true. Even if it is preached by minority of one. That is. What true. is truth to the Gandhi? Truth to Gandhi is number one, justice plus potential for transformation. Potential for transformation. Truth is in every person, which meant that uh, um, anybody can be transformed. that is a truth truth has many meanings literal truth is the smallest of it gandhi didn't believe in literal truth though he would avoid lying but that was not the main point truth is in it with everyone potential for transformation that was the truth and the idea of justice so remember the entire struggle based on moral position Gandhi was not taking an immoral position and then say I would fast. Not like that. It was not a pressure tactic. And anyway, that is saying secularly, but religiously, Gandhi did believe that if he was pure, his opponent would be transformed. Mm -hmm. So fasting would purify him, and some kind of a race will wow, go and change. So Gandhi believed that once purity transforms. there is truth in that so gandhi was not a traditional politician his ideas are mainly coming from religion okay didn't people evolve people didn't evolve it is just that they found him as a great man and found him to be convenient person that's all he served a role But after that, you know how the meanness exploded in the end. Where was non-violence? It was meanness, killing each other. Lakhs died in that process. Where was non-violence? Where was the train of non-violence? Nothing. So that is why leaders can guide people in a positive way, can guide in a negative way. Followers have that base. They can be led in this way or that way. Gandhi gave gave a positive direction. Gandhi called for sacrifice, prepare to die. But somebody gave a call, prepare to kill. But people are capable of both. What to do? So people have that potential. That is the problem with democracy. Can be people can be moved in. two different directions they can be provoked to kill they can be provoked to sacrifice but maybe leaders would be different 
under kill some other leaders would emerge under sacrifice different set of leaders would emerge hmm next sir anil you want so my hmm. yes sir sir my question is like from the kant's categorical imperative everyone wants to be good Mm-hmm. So that means Gandhi's philosophy will work everywhere because everyone yes. wants to be good. Categorical imperative, Gandhi's truth, Socrates transformation, all one and the same. The but then sir, in that case, Russell would be wrong to say that that he could do it because British is good. But the that's next question is that's true. Machiavelli. Uh, but let me tell you, that some he, people. I mean, G- Russell is not completely wrong. I mean, there is some truth. Some people, you know, think. uh the world is anyway bad and that is why i am like this so they may think okay gandhi is a nice person great person but don't go near him because the world is actually bad and so don't go by him in fact that might be jinnah's position it is not that jinnah felt gandhi was a wrong person or immoral person but people are not gandhi so i want parts them so jinna was not melted by gandhi it was not because he didn't think gandhi was a great man we don't know what he actually thought so definitely there is no reason to think jinna would have thought negatively of gandhi personally okay next but then but jinna felt india was not made of gandhi so i want pakistan it was like that he was willing to while commit to violence why because he believed that in the end pakistan was needed and if he, if he doesn't get it now we don't know when so people category i'm coming to the category imperative that is the problem with category imperative people will work out in such a way finally they justify bin laden also uses category imperative and of course bin laden in his own sense he is a good person the good muslim okay because he is raising some issues so not a deranged case not a deranged case so that was the problem with kant kant was saying that finally why should people think they are good that was his question he knows that there are bad people but he thinks why should everybody think somehow finally he is good so what is the problem with man that was his question okay. so some distortion some reasoning finally happens jinna won't say i am i want to kill nor god say god say had a strong categorical imperative god say believed that india should be saved from this man gandhi otherwise india would be great for if, if not for people like gandhi god say was not a deranged person god say felt he was right and that is why so many people now have his followings have or his followers when gandhi god say made that speech in court you know people were shocked elvin writes that uh, so many people were moved and touched by god say speech there is a point in what he said sir it was compared yes. to socrates speech ah because that is how people understood but on a closer examination one can see that is evil pure evil but people can be touched after all he is dying for his country god said so to die there is no doubt about it and for his country no doubt but that philosophy that this is our india we should be great muslims have no place that is evil unless you identify the evil of the philosophy you will consider him as a great man if you go by the idea that he is after all giving his life that is why maybe the difference you are asking about terrorism and other is that 